Greetings, one and all. So another part, because you keep saying nice things. Uh, so part three of our configuring ACS. Uh, so my name's Steve Bradshaw, and I'm starting to think of these as uh, me, myself, and IBM I type things, because it's right now just me, myself, and IBM I. Um, so the thing I want to talk about today is system groups. This is new in uh, 119, the latest release as we speak. Uh, so what is he talking about with these system groups? Well, if you have lots and lots of systems uh, to manage, then system groups are definitely manna from heaven. If you're just managing one or two, not such a big deal. So the problem that they're trying to address is if you've got lots of systems uh, that you need to go, it can be quite difficult to find them sometimes. So the idea is that we can use these groupings. I've used relatively short names um, because I'm dyslexic and so short names are easier for me to read, but you can put longer names in there. So you can see like the default group is called default group and you've got Roten and you can have longer names in there. So if I pick um, you know, the servers that belong to Roten, uh, I just see just the servers that are, are in my particular stable here. If I want to pick uh, another customer service, uh, so let's take a look at Flynet there, they won't mind if we shout out to the guys of Flynet. Hi guys in Flynet down in Cambridge. Hope life is good down there. Uh, you can see the systems that they have. So it's an idea of grouping systems logically. Uh, how do you do that grouping? Well, it's down in the system configuration. Uh, so you have an option to manage groups. So if I go into the group mode down here, uh, I can start to look at uh, what group a particular system belongs to. All right. So let's just not save that for a moment. Okay, if I was to go and uh, take a look at the groups that exist right now, I'm going to click on groups. I can see all the groups that I have. And if I wanted to create a new group, I could click on the word new, actually add group. If I wanted to rename a group, remove a group, you get the idea. It's all pretty self-explanatory. How do you get stuff from the default group, which is where stuff shows up into a new group? Well, let's quickly run through that. So I've got some, uh, as the first system there, that John 7.4, well, uh, that is one of the rotten ones. So if I select that uh, and I want to uh, edit it, I can move it into an existing group. So I change it from default down to rotten. Uh, okay, and now it's moved into that group. So when I click on the Roten group, yeah, I get to see uh, John 7.4 as part of that system. Look in the um, default groups again. So the, the MNIS systems there, I don't have an MNIS group. So I'm going to add a group. I'm going to call it MNSI. Okay, I'm going to shout out to those people down at Kings Lynn, lovely, lovely people. And I will then select all the systems that I'm interested in there, and I'm going to move those to the MNSI group. You'll notice it pops out of alphabetical order this one time uh, as it adds it to the end of the list. When I exit the program and come back in again, they'll be back sorted in alphabetical order. It's a feature. Uh, so you'll notice then I was able to add multiple systems that way uh, rather than having to do them individually as I did in the first way. Either is fine. If you're moving one system, edit the configuration. So you go into it, yeah, edit it and then change it. And if you're moving multiple ones, then you know, select them and move them. So I've got a, a couple more left here now. So that would be the individual method. I could go down that route and move it, or I could say, like, I'm gonna add another group. I'm gonna call this the TZ group. Okay. And then I'm gonna move these to the TZ group, which is at the bottom because I've just added it. All right, so now I've got nothing in my default group. That means uh, I have everyone organized by groups. So let's look at the TZ systems I've just added there or the MNI ones just there. So again, out of alphabetical sequence for a moment, but if I close the product and reopen it again, okay, so TZ is still at the bottom, but MNIS is halfway up again. So uh, groups, if you've got a lot of systems, this is for you. If you haven't, then it's not going to be that exciting. And even if you do put them in groups and you like alphabetical, you can still work your way up and down the list as normal. So a smashing little feature. Uh, well done to the guys uh, doing the development of this. So go Tim Rowe and your team. If there's anything else that you would like me to demonstrate, to talk about, uh, then please add a comment uh, or shoot me an email. Great to speak to you. Take care, guys. Speak soon.